One of my viewers got recruited into a scamming discord, and so with his help I was able to go undercover, learn how their scams work, but furthermore also investigate their internal operations. It's, it's not my fault that you feel that I am a scammer, um, but I'm telling you that I'm not going to keep any of this, you're going to get it back. It's not my fault you're compulsive, bro, alright, and you feel this way. That's not my fault. We learned that the owners are not only defrauding RuneScape players, but they're also trying to defraud even their own members. This is really a rare glimpse into how scamming operations work on RuneScape from an internal perspective. This isn't the biggest scamming ring on RuneScape, quite frankly it's a small one, but nevertheless I think you're going to really enjoy what we learned. Real quick, the best way to support me is to like the video, but also I don't take sponsorships, instead my girlfriend and I are making RuneScape figurines. We now have a high grade resin collection, they're super smooth, they feel like a glass or a ceramic, and they look great on your desk or in your PC or sitting on your shelf. Link to the store is in the description. Thank you so much. The guy that reached out to me originally thought he was getting scammed. A random, sketchy, throwaway level 6 account came up to him and said, Hey man, you wanna make some money? I've already made 600 mil today. And instead of telling him to F off, he went along with it to see what would happen. Took a turn though, he didn't get scammed. Instead, this random sketchball explained to him that, Hey, if you scout out rich people for me, I'll give you a percentage of what I take from them. We're going to talk about their Discord server at length towards the end of this video, but what happened here is he was recruited as a monkfish. And the job of a monkfish in their scamming discord is to act as a scout for the scammers. He told him that all he has to do is find rich noobs. You guys know the type. They have full bandos because they bought it with bonds but they have a dragon longsword because they can't complete monkey madness. Bag them for food pretending to be a noob and when they actually give them a little bit of food say hey thank you so much I actually have a rich main. Here's a Camelot teleport. Go there and I'll give you a gift. The scammer went on explaining saying that once he gets them to teleport to Camelot He'll take over and steal their bank and give him 10% of the spoils. My man, wanting to see what would happen, joined the Discord link that the guy sent him and actually spent some time convincing a rich noob to go to Camelot. About 30 minutes later, the scammer trades my new friend about 30 million GP worth of items and say, hey look, I got him, here's 3 mil of this, it's yours. And so my new friend was wondering, what actually happened out there? Did they really scam him or is this some sort of facade? And that's when he reached out to me. And that is when I went undercover as a rich noob myself to see what would happen. And so my friend reached out to the scammer, asked him if he was ready for another, and within 15 minutes I was at the GE, and me and him were pretending to go through the motions of him bagging for fish and me giving them to him. And before I knew it, I was actually at Camelot, in the flax field, face to face with the real scammer. Right off of the hop, this guy starts complimenting me. He told me he thought I was so kind for giving him the monkfish and that it's rare to find anybody like that in the game. He went on to ask me how long I've been playing. What he's really trying to do here is develop a rapport and start kindering this idea that I'm gonna get something from him. After some more chit chat, he asked if I've ever obtained a higher tier item, like an Elijah or a Twisted Bow. He went on to say that a Twisted Bow would look really nice on me, don't I think? He's not coming out and saying it, but he's leading me on that this is the reward I'm gonna get for being so kind and giving him Monkfish. But first he starts pumping me for information. He goes on to say, you know, how much more money do you need if you wanted to be able to buy a Twisted Bow? I told him that my bank is equal to gear, that I've got no money, just like 300k. So next he says, well, do you have 5 mil? And I said, yeah, I've got my Fury and my Ornament kit, it's worth about 5 mil. He told me to trade it to him, saying, quote, you will love this, bro. And so I do, I trade him my Ornament kit, and at this point he knows I'm going to be a good victim, so he proceeds with the scam. He tells me another lie, trying to build even more trust. He implies that he's a YouTuber and that his viewers would love it if I came on Discord. In reality, he knows I'm going to be easier to manipulate if he can talk to me over voice. And so I play into it, I give him my fake Discord username, and we add each other, and well... Well, well, well. Look who it is, the man himself. How's it going, bro? Can you hear me okay? Hey, yeah, not, not too bad. How are you? Not too bad at all, actually. Um, so you're probably wondering exactly what's going on right now. When you logged into the game today, did you ever imagine that you would own a Twisted Bow? <laughs> no. Just follow me. We're going to go over to the bank. 
My goal today was to find the most genuine person in RuneScape I would like to see today. And what my viewers would like to see is exactly how far off you are from buying a twisted bow. How far do you think you're going to get today, bro? Um, I mean, I, I, like I said, I basically have my bank as gear and that's it. Um, how do you usually get your gold? Do you do a bit of God Wars dungeon or have you not got that far yet? So I'm just pretending to be a noob. I, I told him I bought my bank with buns. Here's the thing. I need to show this guy some items so we can go forward with the scam, but I'm on my friend's account and I don't have access to his bank. So I'm quickly rushing to go trade my main at the grand exchange so I can get some junk in my inventory to actually show him. Whereabouts are you? Sure. Um, disappeared. I'm just at Varrock, just kidding. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Sorry, I just went to the bank. We were going to the bank. We were, we were at the bank. Now, the next thing I'm going to ask you to do, it's going to change your RuneScape career dramatically. I want you to hit accept, bro, and I want you to see why. Now, I know what you're probably thinking, and honestly, I know how some people can be in this community, but please don't compare them to me, bro. Just this once, I'd like you to have a little bit of faith and I really want you to see why for yourself bro. Hit accept, you're gonna love this. So at this point I just went ahead and declined the trade. What they'll do is once you trade them over these items they'll keep pumping you for more and more stuff. They'll say look you must have more things in your bank. Pull them out, let's see how close you can get to that twisted bow. It never ends until you eventually realize you've gotten scammed. Maybe it's just me, but also I thought this guy might be stealing like voice clips from some sort of YouTuber or something because his voice just sounds so weird. So you sound like you're you're on like uh, a very weird voice recorder. Go. No, I've got push to talk on. So if I was to lift my finger up um, and down really fast, it would sound pretty. Oh, see what I'm saying? I, I see what you mean. Anyways, my only goal at this point was to get my Fury and my Ornament kit back, and, well, look what happens. Let's do this. You go ahead and trade me back the Fury and the Ornament, right? It'll prove a little bit of trust, and then we'll go ahead with the, um, with the trust that's, trade and that's make a good not, video. It's not a trust trade, that's the thing. Um, I think you're assuming the worst a little bit. You know, none of this is for keeps. It's up to you whether you can believe me or not, but you didn't. This is, this is the key thing. Um, and did you expect me to to still be there after the five mil be honest bro yeah i did actually you did yeah because i mean if if you're a scammer right like why stop at five mil if i have more stuff on right like you want to go for it all i'll tell you what i wouldn't expect if you were a scammer is you to get back the fury and the ornament because you want to hold on to that just in case i run off um but i'm telling you that i'm not going to keep any of this you're going to get it back you haven't proven that to me it's not my fault you're compulsive bro all right, and you feel this way. That's not my fault, it's your fault. It's, it's not my fault that you feel that I am a scammer and that you're too polite to say so. So you can hear the frustration in this guy's voice. He's ready to just give up and run with my fury and my ornament kit. So I have to recruit the big guns. I go ahead and add him on my real Discord account that has my YouTube channel linked to it. I'm gonna go ahead and send you a friend request, okay? All right, go ahead and accept that, it's from Jacob. Did you hear that? You can actually hear the beep of him getting my friend request. And a second later, he realizes that it's me. He probably realizes that I'm recording this whole thing and his tone changes completely. Um, what for bro? Just, I'll tell you what, just come and, come and trade. Um, come and trade, get your fury back, uh, get your stuff back and we'll just call it a day. How about that? because I think that, you know, a lot of time has been wasted. Um, you know, I did set out for this, so, you know, no fault of your own. Um, I did actually set out for this today. Um, but yeah, sorry about that. We're going to have to move on. Um, so if you want to come and get your stuff back, um, you know, at the end of this, it's it's definitely going to be the end. That's your choice. Um, sure. Can you just, can you add my friend to the call? Yeah, uh, no, never mind. Take care, bro. I thought that was pretty funny, and we're gonna jump into the Discord in just a second, but this is the classic scam that Return of Wilderness used to pull. Michael IRS did a great video documenting himself getting scams by Return of Wilderness through this method. I'll link it in the description. It's really insightful, and it's kind of even worse to see that this scam is still being run half a decade later and people are still falling for it. 
Let's have a little introduction to our friend Melvin. Full disclosure, this all happened back in May and I'm just getting around to the video now. So Melvin is talking with another member here about COVID and he says, lol, you sound like my mom. Quote, I'm gonna be out of work soon if this carries on. Yeah, the working class are fucked, lol. And then he goes on to say, there you go, without a purpose set, people think they're fucked. But not me, man's self-sufficient out here. He goes on to say that, you should have been self-sufficient when I told you, lol. Get yourself a welfare grant and buy $10 Bitcoin. That way you can send it to me and get paid for a longer period of time. Okay, we're gonna talk about how he's trying to extort the members for money in a little bit. But Melvin thinks that he's this like great, self-sufficient, entrepreneur, social engineer guy. So I asked him while he was trying to scam me, you know, what do you do for a living? I told him, I'm a programmer, what do you do? And let's listen to this slimeball's response. What do you do, man? What's your, what's your thing? Um, social experiments. I love social experiments, bro. Mostly, most most of what I do is, is social experiments, I would say. I just find it really fascinating. AKA, this guy is either living in his mom's basement or conning welfare while scamming people on RuneScape. By the way, Melvin and Marcus are the owners of this Discord server, but I'm not convinced that they're not the same person. Melvin and Marcus were both in the Discord call when they tried to scam me, but Marcus never talked. It might very well just be Melvin on a different account. We also got a little perspective into how their ranking system worked. So the Monkfish would start at a 10% split, but as they noticed you doing better, allegedly this would go up all the way to 30%. The top tier rank that they had was called Eric's and this was the 30% tier, but they were also selling access to these tiers. For example, if you just want to jump right to the 30% commission cut, they were asking for $150 or 300 million 07 gold. Them trying to extort their members doesn't end here either. We can see Melvin trying to extort their members for $10 in another message promising them access to some special private discord about social engineering. I have a feeling that if you actually paid that $10, got into that discord, that the extortion wouldn't end there. You know, then he would want even more money for that knowledge. One thing that I'm kicking myself over now is that I didn't get my new friend to send me more pictures of their loot channel. We've only got two to look at, but you can see on the sidebar that there is a either a ton of pictures in here or a ton of conversation in here. I'm not sure, but this one shows 100 million GP worth of loot, and the other one I have shows 160 million GP worth of loot. Because I don't have all these pictures, it's hard to say just how much they were making from this, but I think they were actually doing kind of well. So take this as a cautionary tale. Don't trust anybody on RuneScape, even if you really want to, because they're probably just manipulating you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget about those little figurines. Also, thank you so much for coming up on 50,000 subscribers, and until next time, love, peace, and chicken grease.